Hello, welcome back to the Sloan Zone. Still going with it. Uh, how's it going? I am having an awesome day today. We have a little heat storm going on in uh, Northern California, which is funny because it goes up to like 82 today and then tomorrow it's gonna be 64. So that's that's the Bay Area for you. <laughs> fun living. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about my Ali Strong books. Uh, lots of fun, as I've mentioned before, but uh, you know, they went through a journey. So I wanted to kind of show you, here's the you know, for people watching, um, I might do an audio version of this at some point, but you can check it out online as well at uh, Amazon.com or JustinSloanAuthor.com. The cover for, right there, Ali Strom and the Ring of Solomon, you know, it, it's kind of cool. I like the artwork on it. It looks way cooler and digital. The print version of how it comes out kind of looks weird, but that's how CreateSpace does it. Uh, normal book, uh, there's three of them, as I may have mentioned. The next one is Ali Strom and the Sword of the Spirit, and then Ali Strom and the Tenth Worthy. And what I wanted to talk about briefly was just where these came from. So back in the day, I started writing a book called Guardian Angel. This is the silly, I did it, I didn't know what I was doing um, five years ago. I, it's, uh, you know, if you're just listening to this, you're not going to be able to see it, sorry. But uh, yeah, I originally called it Guardian Angel Tears of Devotion, which is funny because my third book in the Falls of Redemption series, my epic fantasy, is now going to be called Tears of Devotion. I like the title, I didn't end up using it for these books, and so I'm reusing it. But as you'll notice, uh, this is interesting, the the old book that I did is about as thick as at least two of these other ones, maybe a little bit more than two of them combined. And what happened there was originally the first book was uh, was the first two books of this. It was basically Ali Strong and the Ring of Solomon and Ali Strong and the Sword of the Spirit, except for it stopped about halfway through Ali Strong and the Sword of the Spirit. So yeah, that's, that's how books go <laughs> through the revision process. Uh, originally, I had actually written this totally different story where Ali Strom was going through a move because her family was divorced and her dad lived on an island uh, off in, uh, off in, on Whidbey Island, that's what it was, up in the Puget Sound area. And she was moving, she went and visited him from time to time and she found out about this necklace and she didn't know what it was but it didn't really have anything to do with what it does in the new book. It was more like he had left it behind when he moved and she found it and found out all these mysteries to it. And when she went and visited him, he divulged all the secrets and, you know, opened up kind of a secret passage thing in his house where it had all these books that told of the lore. Anyway, totally different. Um, now, if you'll read it, you'll see it's a, her mom and dad are together, but her mom's in the army. She deploys, and while she's gone, the necklace appears. And Allie's like, what's this? And she learns that it's the key to rescuing her mom because her mom's uh, been taken by these dark forces. You'll, you'll have to read to figure out more. But, uh... Yeah, so, <laughs> very different. Um, what's cool though is in the first book, I had done this thing where she goes to school and ends up going through this kind of guardian angel training. Um, it's not so much guardian angel now, although it, it kind of is, it's loosely based to the guardian angel kind of ideology or whatever, what do you want to call it, theology, I don't know. Um, but, you know, not exactly the same anymore. And, and you know, I, I kind of lost that in the first version of Ali Strong and the Reading of Solomon. I was trying to figure out if that fit or not. It ended up not fitting in the streamlined version of the story I wanted to tell. And I was very happy to see it come back in the second and third books, and it gets very intense in the third. And to kind of give you a hint of what's coming next, uh, I have a book called Hounds of God, which is uh, totally different. It's a kind of female uh, werewolf protagonist, almost like Dark Knight, you know, the Batman stories. She's very, it's very dark, but she becomes a hero, has to embrace the curse within her type thing. Uh, and that's going to be a kind of spin-off of these where in the book trilogy, the third trilogy that follows this one and that series, the two are going to come together, maybe with another one, and they're going to be kind of in like the special forces, like Green Beret, Force Recon, something like that, but you know, not that, more on a spiritual crazy warfare level, so that should be interesting, and you know, you're going to have to wait a little while, because I'm trying to finish up my epic fantasy, I have a few other books in the pipeline as well, and some video games I'm writing, so <laughs> long story short, it's going to be a long story. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, thanks, take care.